Good evening. I say evening because this is going to be... Well, it's going to be an evening and a night hunt and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I've picked a piece of beach that is busier than it should be, or busier than normal. And I don't know if it's been noticed by any other detectorists. I've seen one do it. Well, I've seen evidence of a detectorist that's done it. But he wasn't going on the track lines. He wasn't... Um, on the area where I've seen lots of people so we're going to hit that after I've done the intro here and then we're going to come back to where I am now and we're just going to give it a scan over because this beach has definitely been done and uh, I think we're going to carry on till it gets dark I brought my torch my head torch and I brought the hmm hang on there's a very very drunk person I'm hoping he's not heading this way because I'm the only one down here. Because uh, so I've got about an hour left of of light. It's getting dusk. Nope. He's currently shouting at a bin. I think he's got a bottle of beer in his hand and I hope he's got to come across the beach but he shouldn't come anywhere near me. Anyway, yeah, I've got the mine lab. I've got my sound scoop and... Nope. He'll grab me stuff because he doesn't look like a happy bunny. And he keeps. Yeah, he's looking at me. He's coming this way. Hang on. Oh. I'm gonna. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, no. This is why I don't come out in an the evening. There's a bloke you can just see up there. He's just chased me. Just see him wandering around, absolutely hammered. Thought I had his weed, and he chased me. But I came out into this lot, and he fell over. And he decided not to chase me anymore, and to go and find his friend. I am absolutely now soaked, because I had to get away from the nut job. This is why I do mornings, not evenings. What is going on? Good evening. After that outburst from that drunk bloke, oh my god. Second time that's happened to me. First time was a while ago. I have to clear off and take them out to sea nearly to get rid of the idiots. And they follow you until they fall over or just get absolutely soaked and realise it ain't worth it. But I'm really soaked, but better than getting into a fight with a drunk man. Because he was really angry about something. Oh, right. I've just found something. I've just started before it just gets too dark and scary. I told you, it's where the freaks come out. Um, just had 20p. I'll just spin you around. It came from down there. 20p. This is a bit of an experiment, this beach, because it's been done. I just want to see if... if anything's been left behind for me. So we're going to carry on. It's getting dark, but you can't tell on camera. I'm going to stop talking and calm down and um, find some money. 50p! That's a touch. That wasn't too deep either. Cool. That's a bit Result. more. Another 50p. About one footstep away from the other one. <sighs> right. I'm calming down, but I'm just paranoid the dickhead's going to come back. Right. Carry right. On. The last 50p was there. One behind. I'm sitting where one was, and there's another one. Just there. I'll call that a coin spill. Three 50p's. Uh, make it four. There's another one. They're everywhere. And a 20. That yeah, last 50 was there. I, I saw two detectorists down here at the weekend, and I can see where they've been. And I don't know what the machine they were using, but it wasn't going very deep, obviously. Never mind. They're lost. My game. Right. I've got my light out now. If I can just steady my camera. Ah, oh, look at that. That is what you want to see. One. Two. Two pound coins. It's only a little hole as well. Maybe my hunch is going to pay off. Maybe this will be a good little stretch. It's only a small stretch of wet sand. Hmm. Good start. I will head back to the other bit where I got those 50 peas, but I'm going to stick here for a while and uh, see what turns up because it is now dark. It's 10 o'clock. Pound coin. Yes, it is a pound. 
out of there. It's better be worth it. I blame the person that set the £200 challenge because I've been coming out at some strange times and I don't normally do evenings, so it's better be worth it. Next, I think we have. Can't quite see. It's a 20p, believe it or not. Yeah, here's a 20p. Right. I think I'm on about six quid, I think, I'm not sure. Still, ain't bad, ain't bad. Happy ish. Right. Quite a shallow one, that. But it's still in the wet sand. Not far from the two pound coins, we've got one. Two 20p's. Yeah. This is um, quite concentrated, this money in this area. I think I could be right. It could be a new little hotspot I'm going to have to visit a few uh, times. I thought that nut job had returned. Just saw someone running across the beach, but it's not. It's a jogger. Oh, it's got me on edge. But, just pulled out of there. I think it's an old pound coin. It is. Oh, well. You can still cash them in. I've not had one of these for a long time, an old pound coin. There you go. And next up. Yep, I thought there was more in that hole actually, but there's not. It's a 50. And a 20. Happy days. These, these are all so close together. But there's not a lot of room on this little bit of wet sand, so that's probably why it's all bunched up. Wicked. Right, something in the scoop here. E result. Oh, it's two. Not 50 and a 20 together. Hmm, cool. It's definitely adding up now. I don't know what I've got in my pocket, but I'll have a round up when I get home. Skirt along the edge of the rock pools where the rock pools meet the sand. And we've got a collection of very horrible spiky weights, but yeah. They can go in my scrap pot. I spy. That looks like a car. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, that's cheered me up. It's another car. Oh, look at that. And it's a Hot Wheels. What's that called? The. I don't know. The Whip Creamer. There you go. I don't know if it's any good. But you know. You know I like cars. Happy day. Yeah, and we've just found this curious item. I thought it was a bell off a bike, but. Uh, I know what that is. I shouldn't know what it is, but I do know what that is. That's part of a, a weed grinder. Hmm. Maybe that belongs to that bloke. That's why he was shouting at me, wanting his weed. Maybe he lost his grinder. Hmm. Yeah. Of all the weird things I find. <sighs> right. Let's carry yeah. on. <coughs> Excuse my voice. And we've got another 50p. Just out of there. Hmm. I really don't like it down here anymore. But I'm just going to swing for another 20 minutes and then I'm going to go home. It'd be not nearly 11 o'clock at night, so... <sighs> right. Check the hole. And... I'm not going to say as usual, but... Check the hole and... Uh, another 50p. This one's brown. I'm not sure why it's gone brown, but... Still a spendable 50p. Right, I've just had this lot. These ones are all together. They were down there in that hole, and then just off to the left. It's a bit rusty around the edge, but it's still a 10p. So what's that? 60p. It's getting a bit chilly down here now, and it's still damn scary down here. I just don't like it anymore. This is going to be my last nighttime hunt for a very long time. Right, not happy. This one, I think, is a euro coin. Of some sort. I think there's ten cents, I think there is. <sighs> oh well, nothing like ending on a high, eh? Well, I'll start walking back and I'm gonna go home and do a round. Look what I can see. It's another toy car. Hmm. I think it's one of those unbranded cheapo Chinese imports or something. I think it's supposed to be a Dodge actually. Maybe. Fill up with sand though. Hmm. Well, right, I'm nearly back to the slope to go oh, home. We've got 5p in the dry sand. Yeah. I suppose that's a good way to finish. I just cannot get to this slope without digging a hole. Um, yeah, I've got about 20 yards to go and that's that. 
<sighs> so, right, I have retired to the safety of my car and locked the doors. Um, different kind of roundup, I'm going to do it here. I'm not going to get everything out because everything's really sandy. But we did get £13 and 5p. The majority of which was from the little bit of beach that I suspected was going to be better than normal because it has more people on it than normal and it was yeah mainly all in wet sand and uh, but I had some detectors go over it but obviously you must have missed it and then I went on to the main bay where I did the intro <clears throat> and where I met the mouth breathing knuckle dragging moron that decided to chase me across the rocks <sighs> I, I Word to the boys, just be wary of your surroundings, especially when night detecting on a beach. Uh, I am, it's just habit. And I am in general, but I can see him coming a mile off, he was a wrong one. Um, so yeah, go out in pairs, or just be very wary and know where you are. Um, that bay is normally alright. Um, but I think he'd ventured away from his herd of shallow gene pool incested they're just idiots and he was drunk and probably on crack I have no idea but he had the big forehead and the sunk back eyes if you know what I'm saying yeah and uh, it's just funny when he said to me right as we got out towards the water this ain't worth it after he fell over um, and turned around so whether he was up to nicking my machine or thinking I was finding tons of good stuff I don't know, <clears throat> but whatever wasn't worth it, he did disappear back where he come from, probably to the end of the town where they all uh, interbreed. Yeah, unbelievable. I've had it once before, um, and I have spoke to other detectorists, and they say night time and evening it's getting a bit more confrontational out there. Don't know why, and I have split up. I did split up one confrontation early one morning with a drunk person and a detectorist. I went and gave him a hand to get rid of him, but I had no one. He was going to get the sharp end of my scoop if he hadn't backed off. Yeah, yeah. Don't go out on your own if you can help it, but I do. But I thought I'd picked a nice bay to do it in. Talking of knuckle draggers and the uh, socially inept. I've got some footage, I'll stick it on the end of someone trying to drive their car, their front wheel drive car, across the dry sand on Sunday. Didn't end well, they got stuck and had to be pulled off the beach. But, you know, rather than lend a hand, I thought I'd film it. <coughs> As you do. So yeah, I'll bung it on the end after after my ranty roundup. And I think, well I'm going to hit that again, but I'm going to do it in the morning. When there's um, less inbreds around. And uh, hopefully we'll just finish off the bit. Because I couldn't concentrate after that. It kind of put me on edge. And I was constantly looking to see what I was doing. But it didn't stop me finding that lot. And the two toy cars. And uh, the uh, weed winder. Right. Thank you very much for persevering through this weird and wonderful video. And remember boys and girls. Drink responsibly. Don't take drugs. And don't procreate with your siblings. Otherwise you end up with children like that. On that note, tutty bye.